we've now gone digital completely. So <laughs> it's, uh, this is all a little bit of a new process for us all. Um, we've, we've had to cut down the program quite significantly, but I still think that the program is going to be absolutely fantastic. And uh, we've got some brilliant presentations some really good speakers that are going to be really engaging for our audience. And the benefit from this, I suppose, from not being live is that the recorded sessions are going to be available for several months afterwards. So even if you've missed a, a session and you weren't able to log into the questions and answers at the end, at least there's an opportunity for you to go back, listen to the presentation, look at the slides. The opportunity to ask in questions won't be there, but at least you'll be able to get some of the, the information at a later date. Um, I particularly want to talk about our um, session that's the standalone educational session on a Saturday. This year we're talking about steroids, um, them being the bad boys of hematology, that uh, we, we can't live without them and we love them or loathe them. Unfortunately, steroids are an integral part um, of hematology treatment all the way from the point of diagnosis, all the way through most chemotherapy regimes. And again, for treatment for things like graft versus host disease, disease relapse, and indeed even in palliative care, we're using steroids. They cause an awful lot of problems, steroids, but they are really important as part of the overall process. So we've got people talking today about the effects that steroids have on people from a physical as well as a psychological aspect. So it'd be really good for you to tune into that and see about steroids, the bad boys of hematology. We've also got sessions uh, on um, how to be an expert and also back to basics. So I think it's important for us to be able to, to bring in nurses that are new to transplantation and talk about um, the basic care, things like central uh, venous access, um, mouth care, all the way through to the more complicated things such as hemorrhagic cystitis and becoming an expert in counselling and talking to patients about complicated and often distressing uh, problems post their transplant. So we're trying to look at things from two different perspectives as being basic nurse or an expert nurse. So please tune into those sessions. They will be really interesting and I hope generate some um, good conversations at the end with uh, uh, good questions.